Okay, I just want to jump right into this video and get the bonus room cleaned up so that we can get to making over this bonus room. Make sure if you are new here that you do subscribe. We would love to have you over here. And again, my name is Justine. If you've never been here before, we are going to give my bonus room slash playroom slash guest room a makeover. So just make sure you are watching till the end. The end is truly just amazing. We watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we have Yes, my four-year-old decided it would be funny to dump all of these little, little beads out. I don't even know who got these for him. It was, I don't even think it was for him. I think it was for Jocelyn and he found them and they just went everywhere. It was a nightmare. I think we lost half of them. I just ended up vacuuming half of them up. I mean, our game closet is a joke right now. It's so bad. So I have to clean that room up too this week. I am just so far behind on everything. I'm sure everyone understands when things just get backed up. So that's why I wanted to get this room more flowy because my parents are coming to visit and I wanted them to have a space where it wasn't just a mess everywhere. And our bonus room really just needed to be more functional. No, you're gone in the morning, but I'll be okay.
state of my game closet and craft closet for the kids. Let's just say that this will be in an upcoming video, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on me cleaning this closet. It is a mess. I just can't even right now. Uh, we will be tackling this very soon in probably an upcoming video. Find out what we can be together. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. Cause one day we'll be looking back at this. We were in a big mess together. Oh, but we found a way to choose right from wrong. We found the strength to go on together To go on together To go on together I first had my Peloton put up here because we didn't have the garage gym open yet and ready. So I put it up here and the Peloton people came and installed it. So they carried it up the stairs and I did not realize how heavy this Peloton was until me and my husband were carrying it down the steps to put in the garage. And I just, I am very wowed at the fact that they made it look so easy when they put it in. And for me, it was so hard, but it needed to go downstairs. I really wanted to open up some space in this bonus room. Gather and stay in forever young. What about you and I then? Can we two find a way to align with each other? Let's move closer to a new history. Find out what we can be together. Mm. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. Now that I'm done vacuuming with my favorite vacuum, the Shark Apex Uplight, the link is always in my description box, but I'm going to go in with my e-cloth set and finally clean these windows because it has been probably about a year since I cleaned these windows.
I just went in with my Bissell carpet solution this time and my carpet cleaner. And again, the link for this carpet cleaner is in my description box below. But I went in and really wanted to give us a deep clean before I started moving things around. This project took over several days, probably like a week or two to get done just because of how busy our schedules were. We did a few hours a day, maybe mostly at bedtime when my kids were all sleeping, especially when we were painting, because you will see the chaos that ensues when they're awake. <laughs> A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. I don't really care about love. I don't really care about happy ever afters. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you. using this little putty duster that I saw it was in like the five and below store I believe and I just wanted to see if it worked on these Legos and it actually really worked on the Legos however it got on the wood snap on chess set that my husband has and like this blackjack set and it was so hard to get off of that I had to take it go in with water and I would suggest not using all of it just a little little bit to dust these things but it really worked and got all the dust off the Legos without pulling the pieces off or breaking them now I'm just preparing to paint and I wanted to get the covers off of the wall for the outlets and the light switches just because it helps with when you're painting not having to tape every little thing and i just think it's so much easier just to take them off hello how'd you do i'm not broken i'm just split in two hope you're fine and got time to do everything you said you would frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days with your smile in the bar. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you 
My husband's going around and tape measuring the height and putting little marks on the walls. And then we're going to go in with a laser level and draw little marks so that we can put up the chair roll that we bought. And then that way we don't have to worry about is it level or not. It was a little bit more of a process, but I feel like it helps so you don't have those weird angles or it's not the same height on one wall that it is on the other wall. So I just wanted to go in and really do this. And for this project, since we did so many hours of work on this, I did small clips of different walls. I tried to keep it kind of interesting. I really didn't want to bore you guys to death with watching me paint and caulk and <laughs> putty. So I tried to make this very interesting, but you can still like get the gist of what we had to go through it really wasn't that hard of a project I wanted to do the board and batten however it was just not in our price budget right now and plus it was just a lot of work for this big of a room I think if you're just gonna do an accent wall I would do board and batten but for myself I could not take on that task with how busy my life is right now and I'm sure most of you guys can relate and I hope that if this is helping in any way or you're finding this very interesting you will hit that subscribe button and continue on this journey with me and kind of give me your guys's input on what you like what you don't like I just appreciate you guys so much To be cool, even wear that shirt you wanted to. My friends think I'm lame. Since I met you, I am not the same. It was not meant to be a fairy tale with a happy end. Girl, you take care now. I hope we can be friends. Broken. How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. you do i'm not broken i'm just split in two hope you're fine and got time i'm not broken not broken not broken after my husband completed cutting the chair rail we went in and used our nail gun and really got and put the nails into this to hold the chair rail up how could they say i was broken To be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I won Don't you just get tired chasing fame And being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better
Now that we have all the chair rail up, I wanted to go in with this putty. I saw it on TikTok, I believe, and I thought it was a little different. Uh, not my favorite, but you can also go with the Drydex one. I like that one too because it turns from pink to white to let you know, but this one worked pretty well. And I just went around and covered all of the nail holes, and then we're going to end up caulking the chair rail. Kick your shoes off, don't hide it. The next day while I was working, my husband was off in the morning and so he went in and sanded for me so we could finish painting that night. Like I said, this took a few nights to get done. We painted when my kids were in bed. It was just easier, but I'm so happy with how this room turned out. It all goes low, low, low. I don't want to talk before the moment slowly slips away.
see the whole way around it's pretty much everything's still in here we just moved it away from the wall I have to fix that little corner where the bookshelf is because I could not fit behind it to get the paint so we still have to paint that little corner with the brush get the trim but it is looking so good and I cannot wait to show you guys the color that we're gonna do on the top up here we just have to go buy it I am so excited I just went around and taped the chair rail for the paint because it is a dramatically deep color compared to the white. So I wanted to make sure that none of it got on the white trim that we just painted. And then we are gonna go in and paint this room. And there is a lot of in-between stuff, but I tried to do short clips of this because it was just such a long process and I really felt like this video was so long already. So I did have to cut out all quite a bit of things. So during this whole process, you'll see clips until the very end result. So just, I'm so excited for you guys to see. the city passing by my window was in the crowd but i felt so alone looked at my phone like every other second my future was blurry and numb a tunnel where there's no light oh but then you came and sat right next to me your eyes they glowed and filled me
the subway leading nowhere Your warm hands rubbed off the cold around me I heard you say that everything is alright But how did you know how I felt? You saw right through me that day I was lost in space But you We finished all of the walls last night and so my husband the next morning went in and did the trim work for the ceiling. I absolutely hate doing this part. I feel like it can make or break a room if you get a whole bunch of paint on the ceiling. I know that's weird but I just don't like doing it and I always make him and we got this little tool that kind of goes along but because of the vaulted ceilings it was a lot harder to use and my husband ended up having to finish with a paintbrush. You took it, you, you took it, took away my loneliness so So we did finally get everything painted. I'm gonna put up the covers by the light switches and then we are gonna put this room back together. I got a new bed for this right here, this bed set. I'm so excited we're gonna rearrange this room. We're gonna put things differently. I'm just so excited to get this room finally done. It's been a long process because of some issues we had with the lighting and the, the light switches where they're at, but it all turned out so good. So we are going to get this room put back together. How you got me off the battleground. How you got me off the battleground. Yeah. You took it, you, you took it. Took away my loneliness. So I know it, I, I know it. You're making me whole. turned out we did put the projector over here now and then some toys and then I also put some uh, like the things for the projector down here but it looks pretty good I think we need to put some lighting in here later but for right now it looks great all right and then we did change things a little bit up on the shelf I do plan to put a green plant back here, like a tall one in the corner because I didn't want to put the dog crate up against where the curtains are because they are white and even though they're black out I just feel like you don't know if they're going to chew them or <laughs> get stuff all over them. So it was better to have them kind of backed off over here. So like a little plant over here on a plant stand, I think I'd go with fake, with like a basket because my kids can't break it then since this is their playroom. But. We got the curtains up. I'm debating on if I like how they go the whole way around or if I want to back them off a little bit so you can still see the rustic pipe. The projector goes onto that wall. We're gonna get a projector that like the thing pulls down so you can roll it back up too. I'd like an automatic one, but it can be cheap for now. And then we got a new bed frame, bed set. 
all of that. I love my white bedding still, so I left that. Those are my husband's Deadpool Pops. They were just underneath the bookshelf. And then I got that for my husband, if you want to pause it and read it. <laughs> but I got that up there. I do plan to get another end table over here and put one over there as well. And then we have the lamp on the coffee bar. It's going to be moved up here as well. So we'll still be changing a little bit of things up. But it just turned out really good. I am so happy. And then we did end up moving the desk into the hallway. I'll get like a little chair to go underneath there so you can still get in the linen closet. But we don't really use that closet very often. But for now, it looks good. That brings us to the end. Don't miss out on any more videos to come and make sure you do hit that big red subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.